Hello, and welcome to the forum. Every week, we take no more than 15 minutes to discuss the three highest conviction ideas surfaced across the Smart Karma network, cutting through the noise and helping you zero in on what truly matters most. The live forum and Q&A session are exclusively available to Smart Karma Plus subscribers. You can always revisit previous episodes on this YouTube channel. Without further ado, let's dive into this week's ideas. Very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Happy 2023 and welcome to the Smart Karma Forum. The forum is a high impact weekly live webinar exclusive for Smart Karma Plus subscribers. We use the forum to discuss some of the best, highest conviction insights surfaced across the Smart Karma network. The forum is meant purely for informational purposes and does not constitute investment advice. It is the opinion not of Smart Karma, but that of our insight providers and Chatham House rule applies. Every week, we use the forum to bring to you a myriad of ideas ranging from small caps, mid caps, large caps, as well as core thematics. At the end of the week, we take video recordings of the forum and upload them on our YouTube channel that allows you to watch them at your own pace and also share them with friends. In today's forum, we will begin by taking a look at Water Oasis in Hong Kong. We will move on to India, where we will look at Polycab and finally, we will visit some of the Chinese investment opportunities in this year. Water Oasis, the ticker is 116 Hong Kong. The market cap is about 130 million US dollars. So this is a small cap. It is covered by Sami Taneja on the platform. For those of you who are not familiar, Water Oasis runs leading spa centers across Hong Kong. It is a core consumption category that's growing very nicely in Hong Kong. Samir notes significant half and half improvement, excluding a $33 million write-off that the company reported. We noticed that with recent reopening, there could be a significant improvement in the first half of financial year 23. Th this rebound in earnings will result in a massive rebound in dividends from this company. All of this means that Water Oasis is trading on just five times PE with a 15% plus dividend yield and 25% of its market cap in cash, which makes it one of the best reopening plays in Hong Kong. Let's move on to Polycap India. The market cap is about 5 billion US dollars. This is a name covered by Ankit Agarwal on the platform. Polycab is a high quality wires and cables brand. It serves customers in India. It is a big beneficiary of growing domestic consumption, as well as India gaining a bigger foothold in global manufacturing. Its FMEG business is nascent at the moment, but is poised to scale exponentially over the next three years. Meanwhile, its wires and cables business has very strong demand tailwinds, which positions it well for double digit growth. Ankit feels that time is right, Bulk of the upside could come within the next one year as the stock re-rates along with its earnings revival. Finally, we'll move on to China market, um, a market that has been very, very depressed through much of 2022. And we will look at Sinew's insight that captures some of the core thesis. First and foremost, the big story in 2023 is China's reopening and that will guarantee a gradual economic recovery. In fact, this could be a very big surprise if the, oh, the recovery is a lot faster than people expect. We think GDP growth will rebound to 4.5% from 3.3% in 2022. This would translate into strong earnings growth for listed companies, especially at a time when the equity market valuation remains extremely low. Mild monetary and benign fiscal policies are expected for much of the year, as PPI has been declining since October and remains at very, very depressed levels. Meanwhile, long-term growth themes remain intact, digitalization, decarbonization, and the G2 polarization intensification. We hope you found today's forum useful and it sparked some ideas in your head. If you want to continue the conversation further and engage directly with insight providers on Smart Karma, just head on over to our platform. And thanks very much and hope to speak to you next week. Bye-bye. That's it for this week. 
You can find more ideas like the ones we discussed today on demand on our YouTube channel. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button. If you like these ideas, spread the word. Tell a fellow investor about Smart Karma Plus and follow us on social media. Just search for Smart Karma. And of course, don't forget to visit smartkarma.com for more independent, differentiated investment insights. Thanks for watching and see you next week.